Welcome to day 10 of my live Facebook Marketplace dropshipping case study where I show you guys everything that I'm doing on my Facebook Marketplace dropshipping account, what products I'm selling, what's working for me, and all kinds of strategies along the way. In this video, I'm going to show you guys not only what products I sold and what's working well for me with some of my best selling items, but also how to create a promotion for your Facebook listings and more. Quick intro and let's go. Hello everyone, glad to have you today. My name is Liwan from AutoDS. I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last several years. And if you've been watching my Facebook Live Marketplace case study, you know exactly what products I'm selling, how much I'm profiting, where I'm getting these products from and what strategies I'm implementing on my store. In this video, I'm going to show you more strategies and more of what best selling products I've been selling. So let's get this show on the road. One second before that, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part right now where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. And if you haven't done so yet, start this case study from day one and learn step by step so that you can implement the same strategies and have your own success story. Without further ado, let's get on with the show. What happened in day 10? So as you guys know from my previous videos, I've added about 90 products to my store, which is less than 100 products in those 10 days using the help of my virtual assistant. And I sold about 30 products, if not more by this day. So those results are actually not bad at all for a new dropshipping store. So I'm glad that I recorded everything and I got this live case study going for you guys. Let's see what happened on day number 10. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys is that Facebook created a new inbox where you can see all of your customers' messages. There you can also label your messages, reply to your customers, and also filter your messages. So here's what it looks like. As you see here, you got the products that you're selling. So I'm going to keep it on the selling tab. And as you see here, I can view my chats. So I'm viewing right now my individual chats and you can filter by label. So for example, I can see what products are pending payments. So what products people want to buy, but they haven't paid for it yet what product people have paid for that haven't been shipped yet, so to be shipped, what products I shipped will be unshipped and orders that have been completed. And as I scroll down here, you can see that another best-selling product that started selling really well for me recently are these pop fidget toys. And I'm sure that you guys know what they are. Kids are having a blast from it. And as you can see here, I'm selling this product pretty much every day. So here you can see the little chat history that I had. And as you can see here, Joey, I replied to his message. Don't worry, your order is going to be processed. He just asked what's going on with his order, when it will be processed. Only one day has passed, so I gave him that answer. Christy placed an order, Louise placed an order, Connie placed an order, Isabella placed an order. Sunday, 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 Sunday. So here you can see that this product is actually selling pretty well. And on this screen, I also wanted to introduce you guys to that new inbox that Facebook just created. Okay. So that's a quick introduction to that. Now let's go see what else has been happening on my store. So as we can see here, these are my Facebook marketplace listings. I added more products. I'm trying to find more best sellers. And one of the products that has been selling really well for me is those white LED lights that I talked about. I also mentioned them in the previous video. So you can see here the products that I sold, those warm crotchet hooks and the white LED lamp solar garden lights have been selling really, really well. So here's the white LED product. Here I'll click on variants. And what I wanna do now is show you guys how to create a promotion so you can sell more of those products that have been selling well. First, I'll click on the source link so you can see how much I'm buying this product from. So I have it open right here. It's from Banggood and it cost me $26.24. Right now I'm selling it for $35, but what I wanna do is create a sale promotion. So I'm going to raise my price a little bit from $35 to $36.99. Now I'll save that variation through AutoDS and the price will automatically update on my Facebook Marketplace shop. And as you can see here from the order details, this product is being sold for $35, but right now I just changed it to $36.99. Now I'm going to click on promotions on the left side and I'm going to create a promotion. Now you can do this to products that are selling well and you can also do this to products that are not selling so well for you and you want to try and move them. So here is the promotions page and you can select which listings you would like to promote. So I'll just create a search for white LED. And here we go. Here's the white LED light outdoor solar power lights product. So I'm going to simply click on that. It's this product, as you can see here, $36.99. And on Facebook, you can see that it's $37. Facebook just raised it up a little bit. But as you can see, AutoDS already updated my Facebook store. I'm going to give this promotion a name. We'll just call it LED light promo. And here we can choose the promotion type if we want to give a flat percentage or if you want to give a fixed dollar amount discount. In this case, I'm going to go with a 5% discount. The start date. You can choose whatever date you want from today, tomorrow, the next week, the next month, when you want to start the promotion, at what time, and when you would like to end this promotion. So simply choose your dates, 
and choose your time and of course choose what products you would like to promote and give it a promotion name which is everything that's happening right here and here at the end you can also choose if you would like to apply this promotion to all of your listings or just to the ones that you selected so in this case, I'm only going for that best-selling product because I simply want to sell it some more. If it's selling well, let's try to get more people to see this product and get them to buy it too. So I upped the price a little bit. $2 is not a lot, but when you give them a promotion and more eyes are going to see your listing, you'll have a much higher chance of selling it. So now I'm going to click on create promotion and that's it. As you can see right here, I have an active promotion. It says right here, ends August 6, LED light promo, 5% off on one listing. So as you can see here, $37 was crossed out and now it's back to $35. So I'm not actually losing any profit because I upped the price a little bit. And as you can see right here, here's the listing $37 crossed off to now being $35 and 15 cents. That's all there is to it when it comes to creating promotions for your Facebook marketplace store. Once again, do it on products that are selling and also do it on products that aren't selling. Try to get those slow movers to move some more and get your fast movers to move even faster and make more sales and more profit. That pretty much sums up day 10 of my Facebook live marketplace dropshipping case study. Those are the products that I'm selling, where I'm getting it from, how much I'm profiting and how to create promotions for your products and also how to use the new inbox feature on Facebook where you can filter, label your messages and simply have a much smoother experience as a Facebook seller. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate the value. See you in the future videos and good luck dropshipping on the Facebook marketplace.